It sounds like a ritual. Uh, it last sounds like uh, you are on an airplane and you are asked to fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> when I was uh, when I uh, was ordained as a novice monk, I was only 16, and they gave me a book to learn by heart, a book uh, of uh, about 50 verses. And the book was written in uh, classical Chinese. These are verses that you have to learn by heart so that you can practice uh, mindfulness. Uh, when you are about to sit down, you read in your mind that verse. You tell yourself that you are going to sit down. <laughs> and as uh, you are sitting down, you say, I am sitting down. <laughs> And the verse uh, make it more poetic, poetical. It goes like this, uh, sitting down here, it is like sitting at the foot of the body tree in order to get enlightenment like the Buddha. And usually there are four lines in each uh, verse. As uh, you breathe in, you read the first line, and when you breathe out, you read the second line silently inside of you. So when you see me sitting like this, there's, going, there, there's something going on in me, uh, the reading of uh, the verse in mindfulness. And uh, when you about to brush your teeth, there's one verse for you to breathe in and out in order for you to brush your teeth joyfully and mindfully. And even when you uh, urinate, there is one verse for you to practice. And when you, uh, uh, you take the water uh, in order to wash your hand, you also uh, have a verse to recite in order to enjoy deeply the act of washing uh, uh, your hands. And many of the verses uh, uh, were taken from a sutra called Avatamsaka, the sutra on the adornment of uh, flowers. Uh, when I was ordained as uh, a novice monk, uh, the monks in Vietnam, no, no monks in Vietnam uh, ride a bicycle. It's very strange to see a monk uh, riding a bicycle. There were very few automobiles uh, in my country at that time, and the rich people began to use um, bicycles. So when I grew up into a young monk, I wanted to ride a bicycle. I am very proud to tell you that I, I am one of the six first monks in Vietnam to ride on a bicycle. I am very proud to tell you that I am one of the six first monks in Vietnam to ride on a bicycle. It happened in the city of uh, Nha Trang, uh, along the coast of central Vietnam. It happened along the coast of central Vietnam. And the people in the city, for the first time, they saw six uh, young monks riding six bicycles <laughs> on the street. But in the book of uh, verses, there is no verse for you <laughs> to practice uh, riding a bicycle. So I had to write my own verse in order to use for riding a bicycle. And uh, later on, I, ha I had to write uh, many other uh, verses in order to apply into daily life, like the one you use when you are about to uh, make a telephone call. And, uh, and there is a, a, a practice called uh, telephone meditation. According to this practice, uh, when you hear the phone ringing, you don't run to the phone and answer right away. You listen to the sound of the telephone as if it is a, a bell of mindfulness. Uh, you breathe in mindfully uh, and become aware of uh, the sound of the telephone uh, ringing. And only after two times breathing in and out like that uh, would you have the, uh, the right to pick up the telephone and answer it. And the gata um, 
and and you might like to uh, to use the gata for listening to the bell in order to listen to the telephone ring. Uh, listen, I listen. This wonderful sound brings me back to my true home. Um, the sound of the telephone may create a little bit of uh, vibration mm-hmm. in your mind. You ask the question, who is calling? Good news or bad news? So you are anxious to run to the telephone in order to find out. So your consciousness is a little bit uh, vibrated uh, and uh, uh, you are not perfectly peaceful. That is why you resist running to the telephone right away and you practice mindful breathing in and out in order to calm yourself down. And the person who is calling, he knows that you are not going to answer right away after the first ring. So he, he, he knows that you are, uh, you, you, you are still breathing in order to calm yourself. So he might tell himself that uh, she is uh, breathing Why uh, do not I practice the same? So he is breathing in and on, so out. And you can visualize the one who is calling, breathing in and out calmly, and the one who is listening to the telephone sound ringing, breathing in and out mindfully. That's very beautiful. If uh, you are the one who is making the phone call, uh, you have to touch the phone like this morning I touched the bell before I invite the bell to sound. Touch the phone and you breathe in and out according to a verse. The first line is um, words can travel hundreds of miles and conversation should build up more mutual understanding. I vow that uh, what I'm going to say will uh, uh, be beautiful like flowers, uh, capable to bring about uh, mutual understanding and uh, reconciliation. So it takes uh, time for you to breathe in and breathe out uh, two times in order to finish the gata before you compose uh, the number. And when you hear the sound of uh, the bell, telephone bell ringing on the other end, you know that your friend is breathing. And so you and her, both of you, enjoy breathing at the same time at the ends of the line. It's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. You are practicing peace. Of course, if uh, both of you are breathing, coming like that, the the quality of the conversation must be good. Imagine if everyone in Germany practiced telephone meditation, there will be a lot of peace. (laughs) Uh, We have uh, translated uh, uh, these uh, verses to practice mindfulness uh, into English and German. There is one for you to use when you turn on the light. There is one for you to use when you wake up and search for your slippers. And if you memorize them, and then you enjoy the practice of mindfulness and live much more deeply every moment of your daily life. I was very impressed when I first learned the gata uh, for, for using when you, when you just wake up and uh, use your feet in order to, to find out your slippers. <laughs> it goes like this. Um, from early in the morning until late in the evening, Every living being has to take good care of himself or herself. And if uh, it happens that I crush you under my feet, I'm sorry. I wish that you would be reborn right away in the pure land of the Buddha. I was so impressed and moved when I hear that it it expressed your mindfulness, but uh, your 
your, your eagerness, your willingness to protect the protect life.